Hello and welcome to Reality Check. Tonight, Battleground Karnataka. Elections in the crucial southern state are less than a year away and on the face of it, the ruling BJP appears to be on the back foot. The tenure of Chief Minister Basavaraj Bombay has been rocked by controversies from communal tensions to accusations of widespread corruption. So much so that every other day, rumours surface that the Chief Minister himself might be replaced. Some of it thanks to voices from the BJP. But the main opposition, the Congress, too is a divided house with its top two leaders, State Congress President D.K. Shivkumar and Siddharamaiya, locked in a turf war. I spoke to D.K. Shivkumar earlier today and began by asking him whether despite this outward appearance of a patch-up, the two remain locked in a cold war. No, it is... Uh, t See, totally it is uh, false. First, it is our duty to throw this BJP government mm. and let us come to power. Then my party, High Command, will decide who has to lead this state. I have already assured my party, High Command, whatever the decision will be taken by my High Command, we all will abide by it. You know the Congress basic uh, stand how the Congress party takes. So there is no question of divide house. It is a united house. But you mean to say... Congress party stands united in Karnataka. Okay, but but uh, the argument that some make is that Mr. Siddharamaya is more senior, he's been CM before, so he is the front runner for CM. Do you accept that? See, surely he is a senior most leader. He was my chief minister for five years. We, he, was, he is our CLP leader. We respect him for all his contribution and service to the Congress party. Uh, but whatever, the first, all of us have to join together. It is not only Sidramaya, myself, there are so many other leaders in the states. We all have to work together and throw down this most corrupt government of this Karnataka, which has ever seen. Okay. So that is our saying, priority now. You are saying it's not, a, it's not a done deal that Mr. Sidramaya automatically will become CM if you win. It's open. See, in Congress, it is Congress party... It is not our property to decide ourselves for any decision. It is a political party which has an history. You know how leadership issue has been there. Now they have given me the responsibility of the leadership. When Mr. Sidramaya resigned as the leader of the opposition on the moral responsibility, hmm. and when Dinesh Gundarao resigned, then Srimati Gandhi and Rauji, uh, both of them decided and they have made me the president. I am taking the things forward. Okay. And at least we have brought you a situation that the BJP and all common men, including media people, tell that the Congress party will be coming back to power in Karnataka. Okay, this interesting. So you are saying and that we you have were to given, uh, continue it. Okay, you were saying you were given the charge of, of, of heading the state Congress, KPCC president. You brought the Congress into a competitive position. Do you believe that you are in a sense the natural candidate for the CM post? And is that a responsibility you would like? See, if it I, is given to you? No, I, I don't want... No, I, I, I am not worried whether I am the chief minister or not. I am only worried the Congress party should come to power in Karnataka. Okay. The leadership issue is fully with my party high command and the legislators who will be elected. Because many, I know you are now talking a very diplomatic language and in fact we will play that visual that at Mr. Sidharamaya's mega 75th uh, birthday bash, uh, both of you hugged uh, publicly and uh, there is a little bit of a visual there of uh, Rahul Gandhi also, he seems to be giving a little hint that you should hug. Uh, is this, is this image? Is this, is this, <laughs> a, <laughs> is, this no, a, no, is... is this a real... Is this a real patch-up or is it only a photo-op? <laughs> no, it is a natural, natural. We never fought. We are always one. Uh, we are always one. We will be one. But Rahul Gandhi was no making you of, hug. Uh, uh, <laughs> any signal. But Rahul Gandhi was no, saying... No, no, he, he, <laughs> he was just trying to... No, 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 I could not see Rahul Gandhi asking me to hug or anything. It is my <laughs> natural intake which I have taken it. Okay, because, you know, we are, we are seeing on your Twitter feed, you are taking out a Tiranga Yatra, uh, you know, across Karnataka. But Mr. Sidharamaya is also taking out a similar Yatra 
so is this some kind of you know show of strength by both of you competing no it's not. competing no, tiranga no, yatra see, in rajasthan no no in in udaipur we all 600 leaders of this country sat we decided mm. that we should have a district level 75 kilometers yatra mm. and now on the state level it was been decided to have a massive tiranga yatra mm. that is what in the entire state we are doing it some of them are doing 200 or 250 uh, kilometer in one assembly segment more mm. than 100 constituency this yatra is going on and on the final day final day we are uh, i think more than a lakh people will walk 7 and 1/2 km having this yatra and it will be one of the biggest show in the country i feel and in all the districts so and the assembly okay. segments we all but, are participating together but mr mr shiv kumar yeah. is this not as some are seeing it an attempt by you to build brand dk shiv kumar you know there's a you've hired an agency as well that is that is working with you to to you know publicize brand shiv dk shiv kumar no it is not see in politics nowadays you see uh, though we have our own uh, experience mm. uh, all the political parties hire their own uh, people in congress party also we have hired bjp has hired and all of them hired we take the technical support now the um, uh, uh, new uh, the generation is looking at a, a digital mode and in this we will have to have lot of advice people like okay. all of you and we will have to take it forward to reach to the people of the state okay so you are saying this is not uh, uh, necessarily to pitch you as cm candidate but on that the last question i wanted to ask you is that you said somewhere at a gathering that it is time for a vokaliga leader a, a leader of the vokaliga community to which you belong should become cm see last year on the last election except few constituencies we just vanished the entire kumar swami could get about 38 39 seats but this time now i have been made the party president i am telling my i i, I had I made an appeal to my community you have an opportunity you don't lose this opportunity mm. let us all you should all bless me mm. so that our party comes to power mm. first we have to have our numbers i have to tell my community people or i tell my followers okay. i don't believe in this caste but still the congress party believes it everyone i have to tell my people that yes here is your representative and you give me strength okay okay but but tell me overall though that uh, uh, mr shiv kumar you are saying that at least the congress is saying that the bjp is actually the one which is divided house you have called Mr Bombay chief minister Bombay a puppet cm the bjp says this is all wishful thinking by the congress there is no question of replacing mr bombay see let them keep bombay and let them change bombay it is the central former central minister said that the party the chief minister post is for sale the central former minister and the cm mla said that minister position is for sale the sitting mlas and other ministers including the sitting minister also including mr uh, ishwarappa also said that there will be a new chief minister mm. and uh, that will be mr nirani will be there this all talks have been come out from the bjp leaders recently also two leaders one ex minister from tumkur mm. one ex mla from tumkur is the district president they have said that there will be a new chief minister by august 15 mm. they have opened without any fire and no uh this one will come out definitely uh, they have all the leaders in the state are co- co- commenting that it has is the big weakest chief minister we are not commenting on that so until there is a uh, fire there will be no smoke anywhere but are you worried that if they replace mr bombay then your attack against this government gets weak you know now 6 7 months left for elections new chief minister comes no. your attack gets no, blunted no 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 three see last three years bjp government has come whether they play, make three chief minister or four chief minister ultimately from the day one it has become the most corrupt state of this country and karnataka has become the corrupt capital of this country mm. they have they have nothing to tell on this 
they have nothing uh, contributed. You know the image of Bangalore. You also know well Bangalore is what the governance was there. Now the governance has lost. Once upon a time, Atal Bihari Vajpayee had come to Bangalore to the Lady Foundation when he was the Prime Minister. He used okay. to tell that world leaders used to, instead of going to Delhi, they used to come to Bangalore, they used to come to Chennai, they used to go to Hyderabad, and now they are coming directly to Bangalore and then they are flying to Delhi. That was Atal Bihari Vajpayee's statement. Where is the situation now? Okay. Where is the situation now? The image of Karnataka has been lost. There okay. is no governance here. Okay, so you're saying it's become corruption capital. We'll definitely get the BJP to respond to that. But Mr. Shikumar, thank you very much indeed for joining us on NDTV. Thanks very much.